Whether you're replacing your customer's spark plugs as part of routine maintenance or to address a drivability concern, there's a right way and a wrong way to do the job. Learn the difference in today's service done right. Today's episode is brought to you by Autolite, igniting your passion. The job starts with the old plugs. Whether the plugs are visible or recessed, it is important to clear the area around the seat of any debris that may enter the engine prior to removal. A few short blasts of compressed air should do the trick. Just be sure to wear eye protection to avoid personal injury. Line up the old spark plugs in the order removed and take a moment to inspect each. They should be relatively uniform in appearance with no abnormal discoloration or deposits present. If you do see something unusual, it could indicate a deeper problem that needs to be diagnosed. Now our sponsor Autolite publishes a plug inspection guide that can help lead you to the cause. When selecting your replacement, be sure to use an application specific guide and avoid the cross-reference charts that are so common at the parts house. This will help ensure that you are getting the right plug for the application. And while you're doing your homework, look up the spark plug gap specification and the torque spec in your service information system. Check the gap on the new plugs using a round wire feeler gauge rather than the ramp style gauge most tool trucks hand out like candy. Here I like to use a go, no go approach. If needed, use the tool to adjust the gap. Never tap the plug's ground electrode on your workbench to make the gap smaller. Use a piece of fuel line to hold the plug and install the plug into the cylinder head by hand until tight. With the plugs installed hand tight, use a torque wrench to complete the install. This is commonly overlooked and one of the major causes of plug failure. It's critical to the proper sealing of the plug and to ensure proper heat transfer from the plug to the cylinder head. Inspect the plug wires and boots or the coils and boots on coil on plug systems for brittleness or cracking and check for corrosion on the plug terminals inside each boot. Replace suspect coils, boots, and or wires as needed. Lubricate the plug contact area inside each boot with dielectric grease and then install the plug wires or coils in boots, making sure they are installed in the correct order and fastened securely. The spark plugs installed on today's engines work in a very harsh environment, and simple mistakes made during their service and installation only makes it more difficult for them to perform as they were designed to. If you follow the few simple steps that I've shared today, you can rest assured that your next spark plug service will be a service done right. Thanks for watching.